three, two, one, go! And with that countdown, more than 130 people rushed the water at Quadic Lake in Thompson Thanksgiving morning, all part of the 31st annual Turkey Dip. People young and old came out to go swimming, some in costume while some others in the more traditional swimwear. But regardless of what people were wearing at 8 a.m., they were all jumping into the surprisingly chilly water. The air was balmy, but uh, the water was still very, very cold. It was, I was very surprised when I got in. It's surprising, you know, when, the, when it's really cold out, when it's about 10 degrees and you come out of the water, you don't really feel it for about a minute or two. But when you came out today, you felt it right away because the water's colder than the air. And uh, it's just, just kind of strange, but it, <laughs> that's the way it works. It's balmy almost. I mean, people are more excited to go out this year, so it makes a huge difference weather-wise and for the fire department. The Turkey Dip is a fundraiser for the Muscular Dystrophy Association taking place every year on Thanksgiving morning, also acting as the pregame to the local football games that take place later in the day. State Representative Sean Johnson took the plunge this year, as he does every year, being a founding member. You know, when Turkey Dip first started, it was, it was just a goof. My brothers and sisters and friends, the year after I graduated from high school, sort of latched upon the idea of going swimming at Alexander's Lake the morning before the football game. Why? Who knows? No logic behind it. A crazy idea hatched. Uh, and we did it for a number of years. Different friends would come back for the Thanksgiving holiday and they would come join us. So every year for about six or seven years, there'd be 17, 20 of us swimming that morning, and we'd have our little party before the football game. It was just a, it was a great reunion get-together. Johnson spoke of the costume contest that is held every year and how it has an ECSU connection. And Paul Burton died uh, about two weeks before he graduated from Eastern Connecticut University. And uh, so I saw this boy uh, and became friends with him and his parents, Chris and Davis Burton, still live in Wyndham. Uh, go from being this young boy uh, to knowing him as a young man, as almost a college graduate. Uh, and you really see what muscular dystrophy, what it does to people, and getting to know some of his friends at the time. And so, uh, um, and that's kind of why we do the Paul Burton Spirit Award, to kind of keep his spirit alive, because he became such a part of it. While for some, jumping into water that's in the upper 30s is a bragging right, others come just to watch and remember people they know that suffer from muscular dystrophy. My mother actually has muscular dystrophy, so that was one of the reasons why it attracted us to raise money for muscular dystrophy. I haven't done it in a few years, but today I came down here. I woke up this morning, and it was warm, and I was sitting there saying, boy, you know, boy, would I have liked it to be this warm uh, when I used to do the turkey dip. As of 8 a.m. on Thanksgiving morning, $37,000 was raised with more expected to come in. In Thompson, I'm Ryan O'Connor, News 22.